Hi everyone, hope you're doing well today. We have over here a black deck profile for Digimon. This is definitely going to be a really interesting build because I'm actually combining two different mechanics into this particular deck itself. One being Blocker and the second being D Brigade. But uh, the D Brigade is actually meant to be more of a supplementary uh, kind of thing for this particular deck itself. But uh, I just thought that this was actually a really interesting build because I was actually like building certain decks for black and with black you're most likely going to be building a deck with mostly blockers but in this particular case i thought to myself well i had some d brigade cards lying around and i wanted to actually test it out so i decided to form a deck with the d brigade cards that i actually had and you know here's the thing the sad reality is the d brigades are quite disappointing on their own so if you're actually trying to build a d brigade deck uh don't expect too much out of it but when you combine it with a more different mechanic in this case the blockers uh, you're actually able to uh, gain quite a bit of a rewarding i don't know outcome out of this particular deck here but uh let me just show you what this actually entails so uh yeah let's just get started now for the Digi Eggs, this is really interesting because honestly, uh, both variations can actually work here. So we're playing four copies of Kapurimon. Basically, as long as you have a blocker, it gets a thousand DP. But we're also playing over here Missimon. During your turn, while this Digimon has D-Brigade in its type, it gets a thousand DP. Now you could actually alternate. I only had one copy of Missimon. However, if I had four copies of Missimon, I would still actually play four copies of Missimon and then the one copy of Kapurimon. Both these are actually quite interchangeable in terms of ratios. They're really, really good uh, for this particular deck and you'll see why in a sec. So far level threes, we're essentially playing an entire D Brigade lineup. So we're playing uh, pretty much just all Commandramons in this particular build here. And I felt this was the best way of actually going about this particular deck, just because all of them were D Brigades. So it just synergizes with everything else you have. This particular one being 5,000 DP, being able to boost itself out to 6,000, just makes it so much more powerful. They all have Digivolution cost of zero anyway, which is already amazing. But the fact that they also get stronger because they all happen to be D Brigades, that's just great. This one also happens to be a blocker, so again, that's just more synergy with your Kapurimon. But uh, ultimately, together with your Missimons, it definitely just makes it uh, really amazing uh, to get that early advantage by having the higher DP out there. So on to level 4s, we're going to be playing two of our Dark Tyranimon. I mean, this is just your standard blocker. Uh, just nothing else to really say about it. Um, and we're also playing over here our uh, uh, Seals Grimond as well. Also really nice. Also a D Brigade card, so it's definitely fantastic there. Uh, but with that being said, um, it's just really different in terms of what it can offer. This has a Digivolution cost of 1, this has a Digivolution cost of 2. However, this one's 6,000 DP, this one is 5,000 DP. Um, so even though this one's cheaper, I do like the Seals Ramon more because it is a D Brigade card, so it kind of gets that advantage there. And being that both these are blockers anyway, they also get the additional boost. So yeah, just really nice there. Uh, works out incredibly well. Uh, but with that being said, we are also playing here uh, four copies of our uh, Macquarie Namon. So this is also a really nice card. Uh, this one just can't attack, but that's okay because, well, it's essentially just meant to be there as a blocker. So yeah, just really amazing. Can be really pesky for your opponent as well because if you have a bunch of blockers with boosted DP, uh, your opponent could actually find it quite hard to get over you. So I definitely like how uh, this deck is centered so well on just the blockers alone. And that already just makes the deck uh, quite pesky business for the opponent. So on to level 5s, we're playing two copies here of Andromon. Again, another blocker, really amazing for the actual deck itself. And we're also playing two copies here of the uh, Mega Dramon, uh, also very nice. But this one's actually giving your level 6s a blocker because of its inherited effect. And uh, given that your deck doesn't really have too many blockers, uh, just to have the Mega Dramon out there is really nice, but we only need two copies of it because one of our level sixes is actually a blocker. So uh, yeah, this would otherwise change depending on what level six you decide to play. But with that being said, we have over here our Tangramon, which is our level five D Brigade card. 
a really amazing card. When one of your other Digimon or D Brigade in its type is deleted, you get to reveal two cards from the top of your deck and you pretty much just get to play a Commandramon for free. And this is pretty much why we're playing four copies, of, well, we're playing four copies of each Commandramon out there, making it 12 Commandramons in the deck. So very likely, uh, are we going to be pulling off the whole, um, advantage with the Tantramon here. So that's definitely really fantastic. It always essentially allows you to have a Digimon on the board regardless of what happens to your Digimon. So think about it like this. You have Tantramon out there. You attack with your Commandramons and by doing so, it could potentially get deleted because it's only a level 3 from the opponent's security. So you pretty much just check the top two cards of your deck, you get another Commandramon and yeah, it's just really amazing. It's so good. Um, so yeah, with that being said, definitely really incredible synergy. But with that being said, it only can go for the Commandramon. So even though you have 12 Commandramons in this deck, it's not always a guarantee. So sometimes it does fail in certain circumstances there. So you do have to keep that in mind. But uh, with that being said, when it goes off, it is such a satisfying thing. But last of our level 5s, we're going to be playing the Metal Greymons. When Digivolving, until the end of your opponent's next turn, you just get to give one of your Digimon blocker, and that's just something you would really like to have, obviously, to get the boost from the Kapurimon. Uh, so yeah, that's definitely fantastic there. But uh, that being said, it's just a really nice card to kind of uh, give certain Digimon uh, what they actually need here as well. And in this case, we are focusing on blockers. So as for our level sixes, we're gonna be playing here our two copies of Dark Dramon. So this is obviously our level six D Brigade. Uh, again, it's just one of those cards that's really surprising that it's actually a rare because it could easily be one of those foil cards uh, just because of how interesting its actual engine actually is in this particular deck. You know, I think I talked about it in the Mallow Myotismon deck, so if you guys haven't actually checked that out, please do, because uh, what I actually explained is it's not necessarily the card individually that makes it good, but rather the engine that actually makes it good. So in this case, Dark Dramon is a D Brigade card. So being part of a D Brigade lineup, it makes it good on its own there. And in this particular case, it has Rush. So the minute it comes out, it just gets to attack. However, on play, you get to return up to five Digimon cards with D Brigade in their types from your trash to the top of your deck in any order. So that pretty much just sets you up for your next plays with the Tantramon. But for each card you return this way, you also get to gain two memory, which is absolutely insane. What's there to really say? I mean, it's just so good. Because if you're returning five D Brigade cards, you just gained 10 memory off this particular effect alone. So that's a really powerful effect. And yes, that pretty much means that you can essentially play it for the cost of 13 given that it's the late game. But of course, given that it is a late game kind of effect, uh, we are only playing two copies of this. I wouldn't increase this uh, because of uh, its certain limitations in that regard. But finally, we're playing three copies here of Bancho Golemon. It is a blocker, really amazing for the deck itself. And during your opponent's turn, while your opponent has three or more Digimon in play, this also gets 3,000 as well. Uh, so it becomes a 14,000 DP, which will pretty much block everything that actually exists out there. Uh, with the exception of like Omnimons or Imperial Dramons. But with that being said, you essentially just get to attack your opponent's security without too much worry because having 14,000 DP is really going to be difficult for your opponent to actually deal with. All right, so for the Tamers, we're playing three copies of Taikamiya and we're playing three copies of Jokido. Both of these cards are just really amazing. Focusing on blockers really, uh, both will give you extra memory. Uh, so that's, well, not both. But Joe will give you the extra memory. Tie over here during your opponent's turn when you use a blocker to suspend one of your Digimon, you get to suspend this Tamer and then you get to unsuspend one of your Digimon. So it's just really amazing in that regard. Uh, just allowing you to do multiple blocks per turn. Uh, it is quite nice and this was one of the downsides to the actual deck itself when the starter deck first came out But in this particular build it definitely does work out quite well for the deck 
once you actually add in more cards that are a little bit more synergetic towards the actual goal. All right, so onto options. We are playing a lot of options here. So firstly, we're playing Atomic Ray. You just get to unsuspend one of your blockers. Definitely well worth it. Definitely really nice. Uh, next up, we have over here two copies of the Beast Cyclone. Uh, again, just really a nice card uh, because most of your Digimon is going to be blockers. So the fact that you're paying only three costs to give every single Digimon with blocker an extra security attack. Let's say you had like five Digimon with blocker or on the board right now. Right, you could slowly just build up your board and then you whip out this beast cyclone and essentially just go for like five attacks with uh, an extra security attack. I mean, what's your opponent gonna do here? I mean, really, you don't even need five Digimon on the board, you just need three Digimon on the board and to deal an extra security attack is really amazing. I mean, what's the chances that your opponent's security is going to be filled up entirely of just Digimon, right? Like, it's most likely going to be having a switch between uh, Tamers and options as well. So with that being said, Beast Cyclone is quite powerful for such a cheap cost. But I'm also playing over here two copies of Dark Side Attack. Uh, simply delete one of your opponent's Digimon with a cost of seven or less. So it's really nice here. Delete's a little bit of a weaker one, but uh, it has a play cost of five, giving you a bit more flexibility in this particular um, circumstance. And finally, we're playing here the Ultimate Flare, allowing you to pretty much just de digivolve one of your opponent's Digimon um, and then delete all of your opponent's Digimon in play with a cost of three or less, which is really amazing. So, uh, yeah, it's just really great here. This particular build is one of the funnest builds I've ever actually built uh, for Digimon in general, just because of the way that. Uh, the deck actually works itself. It's quite amazing, um, definitely really fun. So I do hope you guys actually try this out. Um, yeah, and I hope you guys all have fun with this particular build. Otherwise, leave me your feedback. And if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely drop a like and subscribe for more. But uh, with that being said, thanks for joining me today. I hope you all have a fantastic day. I'll see you all next time.